Morning world, I've got a box here. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, what's in this box is a is something from this company called Funky. <laughs> Literally funky. Um, and look at that. It's it's packed quite nicely as well. You've got a, a box within a box over here at the bottom and a styrofoam pack over here. This is much bigger than I thought it would be actually. Um, so let me just open this main area first, or rather the main uh, thing the styrofoam is protecting. And this is definitely bigger than I thought it would be for sure. What is it? Ooh, look at that. This is a watch winder. Whoa! I mean, it, it's quite nice that they packed it this way and with the, with the, uh, uh, what's that? With the styrofoam as well. Let's open this box and see what's inside it. Ooh. And that's it. No, not really. Okay, it's a, it's the charging adapter, of course. There we go. And we have this, which is cushions for the watches. Yo. Okay, and um, there's nothing else in the box. There's no. Let me just check again. I, I don't see any. I don't see any. Uh, uh, what's that? I don't see any instructions inside it. So, not nothing much on that front. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, huh? So, uh, I forgot what's the color that I got for this already, but it's kind of like a, a woodish finish like that and it's glossy. Uh, on the back of the device, you actually have two switches over there, one here, and then this I, th I believe is for the speed uh, uh, of the of the thing, of the thing, speed of the watch winding movement. And of course, you've got an on off switch here as well. There we go. And uh, oh, guess what? people there's something inside and uh, there is a push thing here where it lets you unveil the there we go instructions are over here what do you know and there it is <laughs> so uh, you can pause it I've got to, to see the instructions if you'd like okay uh, I've got English on this side and Chinese on the other so there's three gear switch um, the zero is the stop one is swing for 30 minutes, rest for 30 minutes and repeat. And the second button is to swing for 12 hours and rest 12 hours and then repeat. Um, and then, uh, what's that? Yeah, you gotta pretty much open the stop it says here. So it's an on and off button. And you can actually use a US micro USB cable to actually, you can buy another one, have it sitting on top using the micro USB cable. Uh, uh, it can power both units. So that's actually pretty cool. So there you go, check it out. Oh, there we go, check it out. And this is what happens if you, uh, you can pause it if you want to read the Chinese one. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, let's get this set up. I have two watches that I want to put inside. Uh, one is my Hamilton khaki field automatic uh, titanium auto actually that's the name of this very long name um, this one is a so watch that means a lot to me actually and I've got it on this nomad works strap so there we go that will go in the watch winder we're gonna test that out and I'm gonna put the two-door um, black bay 58 in the watch winder as well so let's try it out Okay, so actually before we begin, one interesting thing that I've noticed is that the adapter at the back actually charges in with a micro USB charger port. Look at that. Micro USB, blah, blah, plugs in. And you have to keep this uh, adapter here. You can plug in this adapter and of course plug that into a second unit if you want to. And actually, the one that I have, this particular color that I have here is called the Piano Ebony. And um, yeah, again, I've got that plugged in now and I want to um, fit the watches onto these watch um, cushions over here and I believe, alright, whoa, drops down like that and I believe from there, uh, let me see, how do we squeeze that in? Um, we can actually squeeze the thing in that way, so okay, let's get to doing that. Okay, so I've got both watches now on the watch, uh, uh, this cushion over here, I'm just gonna slot them in. Um, ooh, I hope I don't scratch anything, I don't want to scratch the Tudor. And then of course the Hamilton here as well. Let's just put that in side by side, there we go. Voila, look at that. Now I'm going to close that. And I'm going to hit the button at the back, this red button over here. And then let's see how it goes. Nothing happens, do you know why? Because I have not turned on this button over here. I'm going to hit the first one and let's see how that goes. 
Whoa! Oops, it kind of stopped. Oh! It kind of stopped again. Also, it rotates in, in, in kind of like different uh, 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 rotation cycles, I guess. I don't think it's stuck. <laughs> and I believe you can open it whilst it's... So that's, that's that actually. Nothing too too fancy, nothing too... Uh, it just moves up and down, up and down like that. And they probably would keep the watch uh, uh, um, um, wound. And that's pretty much it. Again, this is the Funky Creations. Um, what's that? Funky Creations Watch Winder. It's like a dual watch watch winder. And uh, what happens is um, you can put two watches, you can buy another of this unit, have it on top of each other, and then um, you can connect and sort of uh, daisy chain the thing together. And uh, yeah, so again, I bought this actually on a sale day. Um, um, it should cost no more than about 65 sing. Uh, should be cheaper lah. That's what I think. But yes, that's pretty much it for this. And thank you for watching this episode. Uh, yeah, I, I still haven't decided where I'm, where I'm going to put the, the watch holder though. Or rather the watch winder though. I've uh, got to find a spot to put it. Um, yeah, but happy with that one. So at least I, I get some of the um, watches wound from time to time. Not wound from time to time, like just in case I don't wear it. You know, it at least keeps the time and the spring wound uh, properly. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode. If you have, um, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, also hit the like button. Um, subscribe for no particular rhyme or reason. And of course, leave a comment below if you want to or don't want to. Just leave a comment below. Alright, thanks for watching this episode. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!